Dear friends, it's Father Laggia speaking to you from the Temple of the Queen of the Lilies in San Giorgio Cremano, Naples, Italy. In the month of June, the people of the Queen of the Lilies meditate on the virtue of purity. How timely and necessary is this virtue nowadays is under the eyes of everybody. Actually, both the world and the church need it. In fact, His Eminence, Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, a few months before he was elected Pope under the name of Benedict XVI, was invited by Blessed John Paul II to write a meditation and to guide the way of the cross on Good Friday of 2005. The meditation on the third fall of Jesus caused a sensation was reported in large letters in all the media. In this meditation, Cardinal Ratzinger in Tolarius stated, How much faith there is in the Church, and even among those who in the priesthood ought to belong entirely to Him. How much pride, how much self-complacency, we can wholly call to Him from the depths of our hearts, Kyrie eleison, Lord, save us. Dear friends, but the lineal paradise, on the other hand, sees the Heavenly Mother, the White Queen of the Lilies, not only as the messenger of purity, but even as the purity of the world. That's why addressing to the Mother of Heaven writes, and you, as white and soft snow, silent messenger of purity, came down from the eternal fulgence covered by grace and beauty, to pour out your pristine witness on the heights of our pride, on the barren mountains of our humanity, on the muddy swamps of our guilt. Dear friends, the Queen of the Lilies can carry out this mission because she is, according to Mother Lillian, the immaculate flower shaped by the omnipotence of God to be the harmony of creation, the smile of heaven, the joy of our land. Clarifying even more her thoughts on the greatness of the Mother of God, Mother Lillian says, You are the triumphant aurora of purity, projecting celestial glow, announcing to the world the eternal Son of Truth. Indeed, the Divine Maker drew his pure divine design. He built it in thee, in thee loved it. In you are the rays of divinity, and you are the clearest manifestation of God on earth. He is most perfect image, the creature most similar to the Creator. His glory more eloquent because he knew human nature reached the highest degree of perfection. And you, by alone, glorify God more than the angels and the saints. Dear friends, the purity of the Queen of the Lilies, clearly obtained by virtue of the merits of His Divine Son, consists precisely in this, allowing God make over whatever He wanted, without putting up any resistance, welcoming in a like way the Father's plan and collaborating with Jesus for the salvation of the world. Thus, in Mary, God could accomplish in a very pure way His plan of salvation for man. In this sense, the Mother of God is a sublime model for all of humanity. Unfortunately, since at the beginning, humanity rejected God's plan, rebelling against His Creator. Today, we can notice that the rejection of God's plan also occurs in countries of ancient Christian tradition. The so-called Christian Western world is rebelling against God in order to obey to the dictatorship of the idol of relativism. The dangerous temptation for the postmodern man woman more than in other times is to believe that he or she could be the only architect and builder of his or her own destiny. Furthermore, this idol is getting followers even in the Church. My dear friends, several times the Magisterium of the Church has said to intervene, to remember that the Church is not a democracy where majority rules, but it is a bride of Christ that He guides through His Holy Spirit and the Magisterium. 
Therefore, the members of the church must obey to Christ the Lord and to the magisterium of the church. Mother Lignon of Paradise, looking at the world, expresses its urgent need of purity in this way. A medilava engulfs humanity, a wee wind of impure flames enveloping the world, flames which destroy the loving plane designed by the Creator for the creature, flames which profane the divine image imprinted in human heart, flames which kill life and joy communicated to the soul by the breath of the Lord. Flames which foster rebellion and escape from the house of the Father. Flames which destroy the unity of the family. Flames which burn purity of morals. Flames which poison the inexperienced youth, making of their heart a ruin in the shameful market of sin. Dear friends, let's make ours the reason for being of the life of Mother Lillian Paradise the Queen of the Lilies, and her message of purity. And the Legion of Paradise addresses to the White Queen of the Lilies in this way. O oh Mother, O oh sweet Queen of the Lilies, the same way that in Lourdes and Fatima you ask for penance, penance, so today, to everybody, but particularly to the religious and your sons, the priests, you ask, for purity, purity. The idol of today is the tsunami of impurity that attempts to overwhelm and destroy our society, our world. Let's ask God, through the intercession of this most tender and sweet mother of ours, the purity of which the world and the church have great need. Come, O white queen of the lilies, to flood the world with thy white light, come and give life again where death is raining. Come to ignite the hope of a pristine dawn where hope is turned off. Come to pour out the bright glare of thy beauty, of thy lily-like purity, where lie withered flowers folded in the mud and in the shadows. Dear friends, it's all for now. Ciao and God bless you always.